dropped into Broadway Engineering in Bristol, one of the latest acquisitions, Citizen L20, and as you'd expect, LFE, low frequency vibration. Brian, first of all, how long have you been using Citizen Machines? I've been using Citizen Machines now for 15 years. Uh, this one I've only been using for two and a half months now. Okay, when you say this one, with the LFE? With the LFE, yes, that's right. Big question then, LFE, how do you find it? I, it's wonderful to use. It's easy to uh, up the amplitudes of the frequency and the pulses, which helps stop all the stringing and stuff that we would normally get using oh. older citizens. Okay, so straight away, no birds nesting, but as you said, you can, you can change it. Yes, you can change the pulses and the frequency quite easily just by up and down. Okay. And it's easy to turn it on and off as well? Yes, very easy. Uh, it's just one code on, one code off. Now, just quickly on the specification of the machine, what do you actually got in there? I've got seven axes. Um, I've got quite a few uh, driven tooling uh, within your Y axis. Uh, I've also on this particular model. Well, 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 let me just stop you there. First of all, eagle eyed, um, eagle -eyed amongst you will notice that is not chipping, that's some swarf coming off the machine there. Now, the reason is we were filming in the machine, we wanted to see what was going on, so we ran it dry. The LFB was still having an effect on the swarf, as you can see from this picture, where the swarf itself is actually corrugated, so it's still working away to its heart content. But when the machine's running normally with a lubricant, it's chipping away, as you can see by all the chips in this bin and the picture we took when the machine was up and running. That's it, back to the video. Have an angler ahead, which will drill angles on side of bars and stuff. Okay, so ultimately it gives that flexibility to make those really complex components, yes. is that right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Now also another question in terms of your main, or your spindles, guide bush, non-guide bush? This is a non-guide bush version, uh, which increases the, the bar length. Uh, the bar are a lot shorter, so you're getting more out per bar than you would with a guide bush. Okay, but also making those sh shorter parts. So you, your sliding head, as every engineer will know, you get the nice long parts. non bush, shorter parts? Sh yes, shorter parts, but still holding the tolerances that you need to be holding in airspace. Well, we've got a great example of that with the component we'll look at in a minute. But in terms of the LFE, what are you finding with that? I'm, I'm finding it, I'm still learning, but I'm really finding it very useful. And it's just a matter of uh, the materials that we use are really quite difficult to machine and it's just a matter of finding the right pulses and the right frequency to stop the nesting. Yeah, okay. So you said stop the nesting, so previously a lot of operator intervention. Uh, it could be and it also uh, reduces the hours it works overnight. Okay. So previously a lot of operator intervention, stopping starting. Now you quoted some times earlier, you, you left about 5.30 one evening? Yes, so I uh, had a two yeah, I finished at 5.30, yeah. I set the job and it finished at half past seven the next morning. So let's just clarify, half past seven the next morning, so 14 hours 14 running. 14 hours running unmanned. Okay. What about things like um, tool life and actual cycle time? Well, with the LFB, because the uh, frequency and stuff like that, you don't get any nesting that you would necessarily get. Um, and it also helps uh, hold swarf of the tools as well. So improve tool life essentially. Absolutely. Okay. Now what I do like to do every time is great, great machine, but what do you make on it? You've got a great example here. Let's uh, have a look. Yes. Oh. Um, uh, this is a part for aerospace. It's an undisclosed uh, grade of material. Um, the good bit about this is I'm using a 1.5 mil boring bar uh, and producing a one mil radius, which I'm able to go under uh, below center line and with previous machines without the LFE, I would get a nesting on the boring bar which would then snap it. Uh, uh, but the great thing about it is with the Citizen, uh, you have, you split your cycle time. So a job that would normally on a normal mill turn lathe would take five minutes. On here, you would expect it to half it and then increase it again because it runs on oil, uh, which increase, improves your tool life, if you like but I'm able to move both uh, spindles separately. So they're both doing uh, two different operations in one. And you will, uh, the beauty thing, uh, the beaut thing about it is that you will not ever get a pit. Right, okay, so with the, with, well, with the twin spindles, obviously, as all engineers like, you're getting a second, second part for free, essentially. Yes, essentially. Uh, and both 
uh, spindles hold very tight tolerances. Oh, okay. So you're getting really accurate part, great finish, much less operator intervention. Absolutely. Yeah. It's um, yeah, it's a lovely machine. Oh, so all that, I think that gives it a great, great summary there. It's a lovely machine, Brian. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.